Okay, so now we want to start tracing our frames and our lenses. So you pick up your move tool and make sure that your fill is empty and your stroke is any color you want it to be that you can see. And you just want to start tracing around your sunglass frames the same way you do when you use the, the pen tool in Photoshop. It's the same thing that you would do in Illustrator. You click, drag, let go. Click, drag, let go. Click, drag, let go. Remember, you want to drag your handlebars in the direction you're moving. Okay, so you click, drag, let go. Go all the way around your sunglasses. Come back up. And remember, you always want to finish where you started. So close that path. Now we want to trace our frames. So you do the same thing. Click, drag, let go. Trace each frame separately. Okay, so you click. Okay, go around our frame, excuse me, our lenses. And you can always click your white arrow tool, your direct selection tool to readjust lines and to move points. Okay, so that looks good. This looks good. Okay, I want to adjust this one here. Move this point over a bit. And same with this. Okay, now I want to trace my other lens. Click, drag, let go. Click, drag, let go. Go all the way around. And almost there. Remember, drag those handlebars out in the direction you're moving. And close your path where you began. Go back, readjust your points. Okay, readjust your handlebars. Now remember, the fewer the points, the smoother the line. Okay, so the nicer your sunglasses will look in the end. If you have nice, smooth, round lines. Okay, now what we want to do is fill both of these with color. So click on your uh, frames first and pick any color you want. It doesn't matter, okay, because it's not going to stay that color. Then you can leave your frame, your lenses as they are with no fill and the stroke. You want to hold the shift key and select all of them. Okay, so click on the shape, click on the line for your left lens, and click on the line for your right lens. Now, if you see all three out are um, selected, then you want to go to your Pathfinder. Now, if you don't see your Pathfinder on your screen, you go to Window and make sure that there is a check mark next to the word Pathfinder. If there is not, then click it and your Pathfinder should pop up. Okay? Once you have all three of those selected, you want to click Subtract from Shape Area. Okay, and that will make your holes for your lenses. Now you want to go on and trace both of the arms the same way that you trace your um, frames and your lenses. Once you do that, do a File, Save, and save the work to your iDrive. Then you can move on to the next tutorial where I'm going to show you how to make a gradient in your lens to show a reflection. Um, and then you'll almost be done.